Well, hey sisters, Donna Parto here, welcoming you to Hope Again, our study of becoming a vessel of God's power. And today I want to encourage you to not let a guilty conscience hold you back. Don't let a guilty conscience hold you back. God will meet us right where we are and move us forward. I want to share an awesome scripture with you. First, it sounds kind of scary, but you'll see it comes around. This is Titus in chapter 2. I'm going to start in verse 12. It, hold on to that word, it teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope. What is that blessed hope? The glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Now, we could be really intimidated by that and say, wait a minute, our focus is on saying no to ungodly passions and God's probably so mad at us because we don't measure up and we make mistakes and oh, I just, I hate myself. I'll never change. There's no hope for me. Do any know what the it is? Let's go back. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. It. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It teaches us. It's the grace of God, sisters. It's the grace that understands that we all blow it. If righteousness, if right standing before God could be gained by the law, by doing all the right things and checklists and charts and never blowing it, then Christ died for nothing. And I really don't think that Jesus went through all that suffering for nothing. No, sisters, it's the grace, the grace and the mercy of our God that says, you know what? I can try again. There's always hope. There's always tomorrow. I don't need to be discouraged. I don't need to be defeated. God's mercies are new today, so I'm going to pick myself up, I'm going to confess my sins, and I, I know I can have complete confidence that when I confess my sins, He's faithful and just and to forgive me my sins and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness and give me a clean heart and a pure conscience and a fresh start and to begin again. Sisters, that's why we have hope. We don't need to live in that condemnation. There is no condemnation for those of us who are in Christ Jesus. So my encouragement to you and to me, let's not beat ourselves up. Let's just confess our sins and start anew. We have hope. We can hope again. We don't need to be controlled by a guilty conscience because of the grace of God in our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I'm encouraged. Hope you are too. I'll talk to you tomorrow.